So what do we do to warm up? We did a handstand first, so let's do that first. Um, you want more distance? This wall is just a little close. Okay. Okay. Good call. Always be away from the walls, I agree. So we do that first to warm up, and then we do this exercise with the hands and have you swing your legs over and pushing the arms to dismount this way to feel what it feels like in the hands there, okay? So one, two, swing. One, two, swing. Feel that? You got pushed through that, right? And when you're jumping in this way, a common mistake is you'll jump, you jump over and you look at the ground. And when you look at the ground, your hips have a hard time getting over you, right? Mm -hmm. Just like when you're doing a handstand. If you're doing a handstand, you're looking right at the ground, it's hard for you to get your hips over. But if you do a handstand, um, and look backwards, if your base knows how to catch you, naturally, if you look back this way, your hips are gonna come over easier, you're gonna tumble over. But in acro, that's a good thing, because your base can catch you. The base should be able to catch you back that way, okay? So now I want you to um, do one more handstand on the ground, look back, and get your hips over. And that's the main thing, is you've gotta get your hips over, okay? Okay. okay. Okay, one more, reverse. Tuck, one, two, swing. And push. Swing first though. We, we learned from last time that the swing is the most important. You get your hips over. So the main thing is be able to distribute that weight. Where do you want your weight to go? Um, you want your legs over this way, so you gotta really swing your legs over, because that's where we want to distribute the weight over onto this side. One, two, swing. Push. Okay. So we know that a head injury can definitely happen in this. So I want to have a lot of cushion for you to fall on. So when you jump into that handstand, one thing I can do is have a pillow here. So if you fall, you have even more mat to fall on, right? So you walk up towards me, you have a hand. And when you jump up, look back, get your hips over, push through the arms, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can even give like a way, pull away, and then launch forward with that stag knee because that's going to protect your back. The most important thing for me I think it's for you to look back because you go where you look. If you look back, your hips are going to come over easier, okay? Okay. Okay, so pushing the arms away, hips away. Good. Okay, we're coming back out. Tuck. One, two, swing. One, two, swing. Good. Now pushing through the hands is going to help you a lot, okay? Again? What can I do differently? Push through the arms a little more, but. That's my second focus. My main focus is for you to get your hips over. Because once your hips are over, I can catch you. But if your hips don't come over, you're going straight up and straight down. So very important to get your hips okay. over. Okay? Can I stag my legs? Yes. Like, because that feels a little more natural. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Yeah, stag's better too, because then you don't come down so fast. One, two, tuck. One, two, swing. And that pushing the arms is key, right? So you can float. Same thing when you come in. <laughs> and you've got to get your hips over. That's the main thing first. Pushing through the arms is secondary, okay? Both will be excellent because then you can float more. But the main key is if you push, get your hips over first, everything else will fall into place. Again. Good stuff. <laughs> so awesome. There it is. Suck. One, two. Good arms. See that? It's like getting that hip over in both ways, coming in and out. If you can get the hips over, then that means you're, you're going to get into that position. But if your hips don't, don't come over, then you push before. We learned last time, if you're pushing before, you get your hips over, you go straight up and straight down. Right. you got to really think about where we want to distribute that weight. Where do we want to shift that weight to? Okay. 